All right, so the first step is basing the whole thing out. It doesn't necessarily have to be black. You gotta put a base coat on there. I'm choosing to use black because I want the, all the low points to be very dark. The other thing I'm gonna do is spatter paint these, which means I'll go through, I'll open up the airbrush valve all the way and use just a tiny little bit of air pressure so that the airbrush spatters and sprays. Instead of a nice consistent line, you get a spattery, speckly, freckly effect. I'm gonna use that uh, technique to do multiple washes of color. I use paint that's just watered down enough that it'll diffuse slightly on the surface of the skin so it won't look like a drop of paint. It'll diffuse slightly into the detail, the cracks and crevices of the mask, which will make it pop. It'll make it a lot, the contrast and the mask look a lot better. And it also gives a sort of uh, depth and texture to the skin tones. Nothing has a skin tone that's one color. Then I'll come back in later with the dark purple or dark rusty brown. Everything with skin. The skin is a, a, a modeled collection of different colors. Little red spots and little veins and little discolorations and little dark spots. And typically, if your mask is going to look dark, you can base it out in dark colors. If you want it to be bright colors, you base it out in white. But these these masks I want to look old and dirty. I want them to look rotten because they're supposed to be zombie skin masks. I'm gonna do one of these as a fresh kill. It'll be more flesh tone than the old dry gray dirty mask style. If you want to make it look right you gotta stack colors on top of colors. If you do a solid and even coat of every one of the colors you're trying to stack, it just looks muddy. So what you want is speckles and spatters and mottled colors. So you have multiple colors in slightly different places so they all have a chance to kind of blend together and show through. And that gives you a really, really nice texture and makes the mask look really organic and alive. And I'm gonna go through and do a little veins, little details. I'm gonna spray different uh, purples and browns and blacks into the little cracks and crevices of these masks. I'm gonna do a little shading and shadowing. You don't really appreciate the color. Unfortunately, these lights, they wash out a lot of the color. I mean, they still look pretty cool. I'll put up a photograph at the end of this video so you can see what these masks actually look like.
then once I'm done with all of this, the very last step is uh, I hit it with some sealer. Now this sealer is great. It uh, is very flexible, it's very strong, and uh, it looks wet forever. So it just, you get this just nasty, greasy, dirty look to the mask that makes it really look like it just came off of some dead zombie. Uh, you've been wearing it in the muck and it makes it look like it's just greasy and gross. Here's an actual photograph of what these masks look like. Please hit that like button and I'm going to be making a lot more of these videos. I'm going to be recording all the projects that I'm making now. So subscribe, check out my channel. Thanks for stopping by.